And I'm Valerie. And we are with the Nutrition and Dietetics Program at Kaiser University Lakeland. We have made a Jackadilla today. And we've got some great suggestions for some add-ins if you want to make it extra spooky. And this is a quick and simple recipe that can be done in about 20 minutes. Enjoy! We are going to first preheat our oven to 425 degrees. The ingredients we're using today, this is a habanero lime tortilla, however, any tortilla of your choice will do for this recipe. This is a papita salsa, once again, salsa of your choice is fine. This is an autumnal pasta sauce, cilantro, tricolor bell peppers, rotisserie chicken is what we're using for this recipe, leftover chicken, chicken breast, once again, your choice is perfect. This is a Colby Jack shredded cheese, any shredded cheese will do, guacamole, sour cream, and raw pumpkin seeds. If you guys happen to be carving pumpkins tonight, you can actually get these directly from your pumpkins. If not, you can also find them at the grocery store. So after we've assembled all of our ingredients, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out the face of the jack-o'-lantern. And this is our face that we cut out. There are so many fun versions of this your kids can do. They can make various versions and make them as scary or as happy or as fun as they want. And then that's where um, all of our add-ins come in and we will we'll show you that in a bit. We will set the cut out jack-o'-lantern face aside, get a whole tortilla, Put it on parchment paper, and then we're going to start with some cheese. Okay, take some of your chicken, spread it over the tortilla, and then tortilla, and then since this is a quesadilla, we're gonna add a little bit more cheese, make it as cheesy as you want. Add some nice, pretty colored bell peppers, a little bit of cilantro, and then you're going to top your final product after you've gotten all of the ingredients you want to get in there with your jack-o'-lantern face and we are going to stick it in the oven for about five to seven minutes depending on your oven you're going to want to check on it to make sure it doesn't burn Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoy this recipe and have a happy, healthy, safe Halloween.